In this video, I'll guide you through some of the settings you can use to route customers to the various services within our bank. By selecting the start point and clicking the routing out button, we can define where work items will go when they enter the bank. Simulate allows you to choose from several routing options. For our example, we'll use routing out by percentage. 60% of customers will go straight to the ATM and 40% will go to the reception. Another popular way to route work items is through the use of labels. In Simulate, we use labels to attach values or attributes to differentiate between work items. For our example, we could create a label to define the services customers will use. If you'd like to find out more about labels and other routing options, check out our help files. To show that our routing settings have been applied, I've added some additional endpoints to the simulation so you can see how many customers left after using each service. As expected, most customers left through the ATM route and more customers left after speaking to the teller than the mortgage advisor. Next up, we'll look at how to incorporate Simulate's final building block, resources.